Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And I am gonna make some of this Hereford gluten-free, no MSG, spicy ground beef. And we're gonna see what it tastes like. We're gonna make a taco salad. So I stopped at the store. I'm pounding it down so I can open it. I stopped at the store on my way home and I got stuff to make a taco salad. And in my world, that means lettuce. And instead of onion and tomato, I got salsa and sour cream and I have cheese. So smells like, smells like canned chili. Looks like canned chili. I'm putting it in a pan. Let me change your direction. Okay, so I don't have the stove on or anything yet. Oh. I am looking for a little spatula right here. Yes, I'm wearing mis mismatched. It's 70 something degrees in here in um, Ohio today. 72, I think. Okay. So I have the, the meat out, I'm going to turn on the stove and it looks like meat. It does not smell too spicy for me. I don't think there's beans in here. It looks like there is, but I don't think there is. There's not. It's just cooked beef. Um, so yeah, crumbled ground beef. So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to heat it up. I don't want to taste it until I know it's, you know, warm. I want to give the best opinion I can. I mean, I don't, I think it's going to be fine, to be honest with you. Like I said, I, I mean, I eat, can't, I eat tuna from a pouch. I eat chicken from a pouch. So why wouldn't I eat beef from a pouch, right? Plus, I like Taco Bell meat, and that's just one up on that. All right, so I'm just going to heat this up. I'm going to make my little salad bowl with just lettuce, cheese, and salsa, and some sour cream. And we will be back once this is heated up, and we're going to do a taste test. Okay, it's all heated up now. I added about a tablespoon of just tap water to it to kind of give it somewhere to go. It seemed pretty thick. So I just added a little water so I could make like a gravy, if you will. All right, I'm just gonna sprinkle some on my salad here. Right, I haven't tasted it still, but I have high hopes. And then the rest of it, because I think that's enough for dinner. So that's what my salad looks like. The rest of it I'm gonna put in this glass container, also from the Dollar Tree which hopefully will give it a second to cool because it seems kind of hot. So at this point, I feel like I could get two salads out of this one container. And if I didn't tell you already, it's six ounces. It's a six ounce package. I already threw it away. Okay, I got some of that on me. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera. Do you see the heat coming off? I'm gonna turn the camera and we're gonna give this a little taste before I put the other three ounce serving back in the, okay, it's still hot. I'm scared. And I'm always scared because I think it's gonna be spicy. Spicy, yes. Yes. Ooh, yes, very spicy. Would be good in a chili. Added some tomatoes to this because you're not gonna need any um, coming down. It's not overly, it's spicy. I'm not gonna lie, like it's spicy, but it's not like I can't eat it spicy. Um, it does have a small texture thing. Um, it tastes like canned chili. I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting is canned chili with a little more spice. Now we're gonna try some out of my salad and there's sour cream in here and lettuce. And I think with all these other ingredients and I got mild salsa. Yeah, it's good. 
I don't have an issue with this at all. Um, and honestly, a dollar twenty-five for two servings of protein. I mean, as far as budget goes, you can't get much better than that. I mean, we all do tuna out of a package. That's a little different, but it tastes really good. And I'm telling you, if you put this in with some tomato sauce and made it a chili, you wouldn't need any seasonings. It's already seasoned and it would tame down the heat. And like I said, I just added a little sour cream. Any type of dairy is going to cut the heat of food. So I just added a little sour cream to my my salad, lettuce, cheese, and then plain salsa or mild salsa. Glad I bought the mild because I was kind of nervous it was going to be warm, which it is. I don't like overly spicy food, but it's not overly spicy for me. So I just did a little mix. Well, yeah. mmm, on a baked potato. I mean, I don't eat baked potatoes, but. Add some tomato sauce to this, just plain tomato sauce. Cook it down and then put it on a baked potato. Like, that's dinner. And your protein was $1.25. I don't know. I think it's a fantastic bargain. I think it's delicious. I will definitely eat that again. I have a couple pack. Mm. Don't be spitting at you. I have a couple packages of this I need to eat. Now, it is only good and mine are good till August. So, check your Best Buy date so don't overpurchase it. I'm assuming they carry this in other stores. I also assume it's more than $1.25, but I don't know. I just think it's a good dinner. It's a good source. It also is great. You can microwave it, not in the pouch. You would take a container to work and microwave it, and you can have a packed lunch. Take your salad fixings by themselves or tacos. You can mix it in with refried beans. That would stretch the protein as well with the beans and the meat. I don't know. I think it's a great deal, and I like it. And I hope you do too. All right. I will talk with you later. Bye.